Today on the Trail of Toys, I will be showing you how to make this. An X marks the spot guinea pig chew slash treat ball. The supplies you'll need are a toilet paper tube, two willow chew sticks, preferably of pretty big size. So I think these are about 10 inches long. Some treats that are either small or have a hole in the middle. I will be using veggie puffers, pretzels, healthy bits, and honey hoops, and scissors. So the first step is to cut your toilet paper roll into rings, and if you don't understand what I mean, which I'm sure you will when I show you, because I'm not going to show it, you can check out the first Trail of Toys video, which is the Star Treat Ball. It's easiest if you cut the tube into pretty small rings, which I quite obviously did. I got eight rings out of one toilet paper roll. And you're going to use these basically to hold the toy together. The first step is to take your willow sticks and place them in an X. And what you're going to do is slide a toilet paper roll um, piece over so that you get a ring around the middle of the X's. Well, the X, I guess, the sticks. So I'll do that right now. It looks like this, and once you do that, what you're going to do is take the sticks and squeeze them together that way, so the X is a little smaller that way, and you're just going to put a tube going on in the other direction. And this can be a little difficult, so it takes some maneuvering, especially once you get more pieces on. But what you're basically going to do is form a star treat ball around the X. So you're just going to continue doing that, and the goal is to get as many rings in each direction as possible. Usually, I manage to get about three, but I did cut my rings pretty small. So if you have thicker rings, you might only get two, or if you have thin rings, you might even get four. And when you put the rings on, you do want to be sure to alternate the directions that they go in. This will ensure that your toy will stay together and the rings won't come off as easily. So as you can see, I now have four rings on the toy, so two going in each direction, and I've alternated them so that it will stay together. And what you're actually going to do is use the rings themselves to hold themselves together, and then you're going to use treats to hold the rings and the sticks in place, because without the treats, the sticks will slide out. So as you could probably tell, I managed to get all four rings, or all eight rings on, excuse me. So there's four between each stick. I guess you could say half of the stick. I can't really see them over there. But it was pretty hard, as you might have been able to tell. I don't know, it was going pretty fast, but I actually could not get the last one on. Because one of these sticks is really smooth, and one has a bunch of little... This one is totally smooth, and this one has a bunch of little... I don't know what you'd call them, sticking out little bumps. And I could not slide the one with bumps down far enough to get the last ring on. So I had to take it off and try again from the other way and slide out the smooth one. So it looks a little, you know, kind of bad. <laughs> I guess you could say a little cruddy for a star as a star. As far as a star ball goes, but it serves the purpose. So now the really hard part comes. And what you need to do is take a treat, which has a healthy bit that is about maybe this size at the smallest. So you can see that next to my hand. I know it's kind of a bad comparison. And then this at the largest. 
which is probably too big. That would be more if you had um, really thin sticks and just a few rings, but with more rings it gets compacted a little bit. And then this would be about in the middle. And you're going to wedge these inside of the ball and hold the sticks in place with these. And this is pretty hard. So I'm going to do that now. So I managed to get two healthy bits inside. It was a bit hard. Um, and one thing I did forget to mention, if you're having trouble getting like the last ring on or if a ring comes off while you're putting treats on, you, and you can always like squish the ball together, like push it down, keep the last ring up and slide it over the middle. That really helps. I actually needed to do that and I forgot to mention that earlier. But because that can also help when you're putting rings on. But now, if you want, you can also try to get other treats in, like underneath the rings and things like that, which is kind of hard, but I'm going to try to get some of these in, these veggie puppers, and they're pretty broken up because it's an old bag, so it shouldn't be too hard because they're a small treat anyway. So I'm going to try to get some of those in now. So I managed to get two veggie puffers on each side underneath the top uh, ring and I also managed to get three inside and I sort of screwed up I meant to move one of the rings over and I grabbed the wrong one so my sticks are a little on the loose side but I think that's okay so I did add something else to the toy what I did is I took a honey hoop and I actually put it around the branch well the stick and also took half a honey hoop and stuck it in there because I thought I had two honey hoops that weren't broken but I didn't because I have a pretty old bag so most of them are broken now and I could only find one that was a full hoop but that will keep the toy from sliding around so I can show you when I pick up the toy oh that came out. I'll get that in a second. But I didn't have that wedged in there that good anyway. When you pick up the toy, it looks like that. So that's an X marks the spot too. And as you can probably tell, it does make a mess. All the little piece, pieces of uh, toys or treats, I mean, kind of make a mess. But that's okay. Pigs, well, Kiwi really liked it. I'm going to give it to Petunia and Rose, because they've never seen anything quite like this. I'm going to give it to Rose and Petunia, and they've never seen one of these, but I think they're going to love it because Kiwi absolutely loved it. And theirs has a lot more treats than Kiwi, uh, Kiwi's did, but there's two of them, so it should be fine. And I apologize, their cage is kind of a mess. Um, it's cage cleaning day, and I put all the like hay and poop and all that stuff from the fleece over here. So it is a bit of a mess. Let's see what they think. <laughs> is that yummy? So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you like this toy. It is one of the more difficult ones in the Trail of Toys, it's probably the most difficult one I've come up with, but I think it's also one of the better ones that I've come up with. So, I hope you like it, please let me know what your pets think of it. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and Rose, please be nice. Thanks for watching, bye! Thank you.